What's up? What's up? Hello Arcade fans, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to talk about Lekka today. So um, I've got some Lekka here and um, as you can see it's all stored in water and as you know I am quite new to Orchid so before I start trying something new I always want to work out in my head why it would work for orchids so when I saw other people growing orchids in water culture or you know in Lekka um, in hydroponics I was always thinking you know why does that work how how is that possible basically because you know, orchids in the main, they like a wet dry cycle, they grow in the air, they grow on branches, so why would they want the roots to be wet all the time? And how do the roots can, you know, how can they survive? And, um, you know, when I was watching other people, for example, transferring their orchids from organic media to inorganic to lacquer or to something else, you know, most of the time they would say, um, well, you know, you basically need to prepare that the orchid will lose all, all its roots because it's not adapted to this method and then once it grows a new root system then that root system will be used to the hydroponics to basically being wet all the time and you know, it just I just kept thinking why would you do that? Why would you put the orchid through such a stress basically just to make your life easier? You know, orchids don't want to be grown in water basically and um, it took me a while to kind of figure that out and I was watching a lot of videos, you know, people growing their orchids inorganically and I just could not figure this out and, you know, every video I watch, they're always saying, you know, yes, orchid will, will be set back, it will lose the roots, you know, and it will grow new ones. It just, it just felt wrong to me, you know, to put the orchid into something that I know might even kill the orchid. So. I was thinking about this a while for a while, you know, and um, I was mainly growing my orchids in Le sorry in um, in bark or sphagnum moss and bark mixes and all that kind of stuff. But Lekka, I was kind of staying away from, you know. After just again, just watching videos and you know researching this grow method more. It kind of clicked to me, so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you as well because um, maybe not every orchid grower really explains this properly. Maybe they're not even sure themselves how this all works, and maybe I'm not right either. But that's what helped me to kind of get over the fact that, you know, yes, Leica is actually good for orchids, and it's not necessarily just done to make our life easier. So, um, Basically, my, my thinking is, so we always want to replicate what, how orchids grow in nature. So when orchids grow in nature, they will grow in rainforests um, and it would be, you know, very high humidity. And yes, they would get wet dry cycles because it doesn't rain 100% of the time. Um, but the orchids get a lot of humidity from the air. Now, when we grow at home, I mean, I don't know about you, but in my room, the humidity is around 50%. Um, and for some people, it could even be lower than that. Um, and even when people grow outside, again, depending where they live, the air could be very, very dry. So there is very low humidity in the air. So to compensate for this lack of humidity in the air, you basically need your media to be more water retentive. So you want your media to have more moisture so that when the orchid is trying to get moisture through the leaves and there is none or there is very little it will try and get that moisture through the roots so it still needs to circulate that water in the plant so if you can't get the water through the air it needs to come from the bottom from, through the roots and that's why lacquer works so it's a very maybe quick answer or quick kind of um, resolution, I don't know, it just something clicked in my head and I was like, this is why. Um, so if you grow your orchids in quite a humid environment, then maybe Lekka wouldn't really work for you because, you know, then it would be too much moisture everywhere. You would have 
um, humidity in the year, you would have a lot of water coming through the roots, it would just be too much moisture. So then the roots would start rotting and die because they just can't absorb so much, so much moisture to go into the plant. So, so this grow method, I don't think this is for everybody, you know? So if you grow in a humid environment or if you grow maybe in a greenhouse and you have very high humidity, probably lacquer is not your best shot. Um, whereas for me, I grow in the room, I grow my orchids, you know, just in a, in a spare room and it's very low humidity. I can't really grow orchids on mounds or I would have to water them probably three times a day because it would just dry up immediately you know there is just no water retention on the mount at all um, and because my humidity is so low i can't let the plants you know the media to dry out completely because the plant can't get the humidity out of the air either so it kind of starves so so that's that's this part you know so that's why leca actually works for orchids um one thing i will also say is i mean leca was designed for growing house plants really or plants in general not orchids necessarily and leca first of all it's very dusty when you get it first but also it's got salts inside it so when you get leca you can't just you know flush it through to get all the dust off and just pot your orchids in it i'm not sure about house plants i don't really grow any house plants so i don't know how this works with them but because orchids are so, you know, they're such low feeders, they don't really need much feed at all. Leca can be way too salty for them. And then as you, even if you just water your orchids without any feed, you will start seeing salt buildups on your Leca. Again, maybe it depends on the manufacturer, maybe it depends where you are, where you buy your Leca from. Um, you know, I don't know how it works in the, for, in the rest of the world, but this is, this is what happens here. So this is why I store my LECA in water. So I don't put any of my orchids in LECA unless I soaked my LECA for about at least two weeks, but ideally at least a month. So after I soak my LECA for that, and you know, I change this water to begin with, I would change it even twice a day and then at least once a day for about a week and then maybe every couple days for the next two three weeks and then i can i would let this like a sit in this water for maybe a week and then i change it it you know sometimes it stays there longer um if but this like has been soaking here now for a couple months so you know i'm quite happy that there's probably not really much salts left in here now so what i would do now is you know i would keep this in water for a while and then before I use it, I would just flush it through just to wash off anything, you know, any residue or anything that came out of LECA and is sitting in this water. I would just wash that LECA through and it will be okay. In terms of what orchids would I put in LECA? So I don't plant all my orchids in LECA. I've got a mixture. I've got plants in, you know, I've got my orchids in LECA or in normal organic media, you know, bark uh, mainly. So how do I choose which orchids would go into LECA and which ones wouldn't? Um, most of the time, the orchids that really like humidity and don't like the roots to dry out, like uh, Paphiopedilum or Jewel orchids or my Psychopsis, um, even my, my Dendrochylum benzeliae, these orchids, they don't like to dry out. They don't want the roots to ever dry out completely that's when LECA works best for me because um, you know LECA you don't want LECA to dry out if LECA dries out completely it will start drawing moisture out of anything that LECA touches that might have moisture including roots so it might desiccate the roots so you don't want LECA to dry out completely in the pot I found that if um, if LECA dries out and it's you know it's dry maybe for a day or it looks dry for a day it's really not that dry inside of the pot um, so you know I don't really find big issues even if a LECA is a bit dry for a while um, but yeah I would mainly pot the plants that really like the roots to be constantly moist so for example plants like my um, dendrobiums quite a lot of dendrobiums I keep in bark and um, that is because, well, first of all, dendrobiums want to have a very distinct wet-dry cycle. So 
you know, if and if I want to let Lekka dry for two, three days, that might be quite, um, you know, quite damaging to the roots because Lekka will start drawing moisture out of the roots. Um, but, and plus, you know, some dendrobiums like the kind of drier vet, um, drier winter rest. So again, you know, if I would keep my Lekka dry for a couple weeks, then I don't think that would be very good. So, so for that reason, I don't, put my dendrobiums in LECA, not yet anyway. Again, I'll come back to that point, um, but for now, I'm kind of, you know, trying to play safe for a while. Um, my tolumnias, for example, again, I don't put them in LECA. They really want the roots to be more drier than wet, if that makes sense. So they would rather stay drier for longer. So again, this is why I'm thinking that LECA might not be the best option for tolumnias. Again, I'm not saying it wouldn't work. I, you know, I've seen some growers, you know, grow their tolumnias in LECA and they do fantastic. So um, I'm just saying that for now, I'm just not ready to just, you know, transition my whole collection into LECA. Um, Cattleyas are another kind of ones that I don't really put in LECA. So they go into kind of big pieces of bark, again, just to get that very distinct wet dry cycle um, and again i'm not saying this is right um, some people grow their um, cattleyas and leca and it's do they're doing fantastic so it's definitely doable so now in terms of this um i, I say it's a myth you know that um, the orchid will get set back when you transition it from organic to inorganic media and all the roots will die and you know your plant will be set back and then you will have to basically you just you know put it in a rescue mode and you have to recover it. I don't agree with that and um, you know I've planted I've transitioned enough of my orchids from bark or sphagnum moss into leca to know that it's not true so I think it just depends when you do it and also how you were keeping your orchids beforehand. So for example, when I keep my orchids in bark, um, I, I have a lot of small plants, so I keep them in seedling bark, which is very, very small. And if I don't want that bark to dry out completely, it's basically constantly moist. So when it goes into LECA, the, you know, the roots are not really gonna feel that big of a difference. Just because the material is clay and it's not wood, it's not going to be enough change for the orchid to be completely set back and to lose all, all its roots. Um, but if I keep my bark dry for a very long period, then I'm, you know, I wouldn't even transition them into LECA because I don't think this is the right media for these type of plants. Um, so I think if you do it at the right time, so when you see the new roots coming out of the new growths, that's when the plant actively grows the roots. And you can even have the rest of the root system quite active, so you might see branches coming out of the roots. And then, you know, it's a lot less chance that the root would die when you put it in LECA. But as I say, it's also thinking about the plant itself, you know, do you want to transition a plant which wants to stay dry for longer? Because if it's used to this, you know, wet dry cycle and used to stay dry for you know every couple days then when you transition it into leca and it's always wet well yeah of course the root will die you know that's that's i think normal you know it's you can expect that but then that's why i don't just transition all my plants into leca 100 percent without really kind of thinking it through so i think that um plants that have been stayed you know have been kept kind of moist um then I can put them in LECA and honestly not gonna feel much difference and most of the time I don't lose any roots at all um, I actually ha sometimes have to cut more roots off before I plant them just so that there is more air in the in the in the media and the plant can actually stay healthier because when you have loads and loads of roots all compacted together you can't even get LECA in the root ball and it's you know it's even harder than to kind of keep it all moist so and even after I transition them, you know, most of the time I really don't see roots dying off that quickly or that easily or, you know, the plant kind of deteriorating. I honestly, you know, I've, I've transitioned probably about half of my collection, if not more, into LECA and none of my plants died because of it. And um, none of them are even really set back. You know, I don't see 
my plants losing their whole root systems or you know getting limpy and getting you know unhealthy so they're all doing pretty well some of the orchids actually improved a lot like my dendrobium pseudo equitans um it almost died you know when i was keeping it in bark and then i was keeping it on the mount and i was trying different things and it was almost dead honestly and um, i put it in leca and it's absolutely thriving right now it's grown so many roots it never grown roots for me before and i had it for about eight months before and it was just you know dropping its growth not growing anything new and as soon as i put it in leca honestly just a few months a few weeks later i started seeing new roots coming out new growth started shooting out so it actually was so thirsty it wanted a lot more moisture than i previously provided so leca actually helped me to give that to the orchid and it just you know absolutely went through the roof so i think i think that's that's how I look at it, you know. I hope that was useful. I hope that kind of gave you some food for thought. If you have any questions or if I haven't explained something, you know, if I haven't finished my thought, um, please let me know, let, you know, put the comments in the comment section below, ask any questions and, you know, let's have a discussion. Um, and yeah, we'll, you know, it would be really fun to know what you guys think about LACA. Do you think it's a good media for orchids? Do you think it's, really bad or crap and it doesn't work or you know let me know your thoughts let me know what you think you know what i just talked about do you think that makes sense or or do you think that's wrong you know i would be really interested to kind of open a discussion and um see what other people's points of view are are so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope that was useful and um I hope your plants are doing well and you are doing well as well. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.